feel that much of what we face every day and what we also have to confront in the world has divisions, has segments, has uh, those kinds of actions and structures which continually divide us and make it so difficult at times, at times, to work through and live through those divisions. If they're not divisions of structure in our lives, they are policies. There are all kinds of things that take place that say to us, you know, stop. You're no good, or if you're good, you're good to a limit, and that's about it. Don't, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't act like you got a little stuff going for you. Because when you do, we know how to stop you. Just create another policy on that destruction. So we, we put you there and we keep you there. And I'm tired of having to always have to look and see Whose policy is this now? Whose structure is this now? Whose division is this now? And that's why I do what I do and act like I act. You know? I act like I act because I want to know that it's in the doing that I can make things happen. It's not in. It's not in. It's not a void there for me. There's a void, but I'm, I deal with voids all kind of ways. I deal with chaos all the time. I'm the most chaotic person you'll ever find. You know? At times, not all time, at, at, at times. When I'm in my, when I hear a lot of voices, that's when I'm in my chaos. You can always tell. If you see me walking down the street talking to myself, you know I'm talking to about ten other voices, okay? You know what I'm talking about? You don't have that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, you know. Okay. I'm glad some of you are <laughs> right. I'm, I'm glad some of you are as crazy as I am. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you know, and then we have to also deal with what we call despair. With death, putting it very candidly. With death. Here at Glide just this week, we, we had one of our staff members, Papa, came from the line. Is doing very well, very fine, uh, making things happen. Jen used him as a spokesperson for Glide. He had weighed his way in, in, in the water of trouble to the water of clarity. And things were happening for him. And then he commits suicide. Not easy. And we keep saying, what happened? What did we... What we what did we not do? What what happened right around us? And, 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 and yet there are people who are reporting other kinds of illnesses, especially cancer. Cancer just sort of like invades communities and individuals and, and, and all kinds of things that are taking place. Cancer. When you say cancer immediately, the first thing that pops in all of our minds, in a sense, is 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 death. Death. That's it. It's fine. It's over. We cannot do it. However, even though there are people who have hope and people who are doing it, still it, it, it plagues us. That's just it, it plagues us. I, I want to give you a gift today. This is my gift to you. Now, I'm going to take the ribbon off. And I want to take the top of the box off. I've got some gifts here that I want you to hang. But I want to deal with, hopefully, one strong and vibrant gift. Let, let me change the, the, my book. This is the Bible, by the way, if you don't know. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's, I, I didn't do this to this Bible now. <laughs> I don't know who's been fooling with my Bible, but I don't read it that much, okay? <laughs> I do not read it that much. To prove 
create all this chaos here, man. I tell you, somebody been sneaking in my office reading the Bible. <laughs>